everybody. Dave here, deranged off-road. Is it just me or has the world gone completely insane? Got states locking down, COVID-19. The world is gone bananas. But everything here is cool, you know? Just going out for a ride. Trying to, uh, I don't know, clear my head a little bit. Just come out here to Sand Hollow and check it out. Yeah, just got for a little cruise. I uh, got some other footage I'll show you, some things I've done to this machine. Nothing too serious or anything like that, just a couple little accessories, that type of stuff. Got a little drone footage today, we'll throw that in here. Yeah, just out having fun. What's up? Uh, out here in Sand Hollow somewhere, I don't know. Got on a dirt road and started exploring. I've never been out here before. Don't mind my my shirt, my, my hoodie. I burned it the other day on my laser in my shop. And my wife's a little, uh, she's mad that I'm wearing it today in videos. And I was like, relax. It's not like I'm going anywhere nice like Walmart or anything like that or dollar store. So we're all good. No problem. You guys don't mind. It's almost, it's a good thing I got a shirt on underneath there. Anyways, I found this cool little wash. I don't know where it goes. I entered onto it just right there. I was just gonna walk down here and walk it a little ways before I decided to drive down it. I'm out here by myself. <laughs> My phone died because I've been flying my drone a little bit. I didn't, yeah, I didn't bring a charger or anything like that. So, you know, maybe I, maybe I won't take the wash. I don't know. That's a pretty big drop off right there. Uh, I mean, I can get down it. It's not like King of Hammer style or anything. I could go around it if I come down and can't get back. Let's see what's down here a little ways. I could probably get up it too. I don't know, maybe I should just try for fun. Oh. Guess what, this is the name of the trail I just stumbled upon, Wayne's World. I don't know these places. Uh, guys that come out here in their Jeeps and do a lot of different stuff. They know these things. I don't. I'm just out exploring, having some fun. Maybe we'll try coming down Wayne's World. Or maybe I'll go around and try coming up Wayne's World. I don't know. I'm kicking myself because I didn't bring a tripod to set the GoPro up on. Lame. Ugh. Oh well. See how this goes. Give you an idea how tall it is. Not hip high on me. I'm short, so it's not that big.
as you can tell, I'm a complete novice at all this, so it's kind of fun. Should be right. It's not like that big. Let's go see what the others do. Hit pretty good right over here, or somewhere. Yeah, hey there. No harm. It's all good. Let's do this one. easier than I thought it would be. Once again, I'm a total rookie. I, I look at that and I'm like, oh hey, that looks a little bit, a little bit tough. Anyways, I'm gonna run over here real quick. <laughs> it's a dog bag for dog crap. Good thing there's no dog crap in it. And somebody left this full of tea still. Oh my gosh. I didn't bring my big garbage can either. Garbage sack. So that's super annoying. <whistles> Try that again. <whistles> one good looking machine. I'm just kidding. I'm not one of those guys that turns around and looks at his ride every time he walks by. Uh, yeah Not going up that that's for dang sure that's uh, reserved for Crawler dudes faux show But I had to be able to just Come right up there. I think that shouldn't be a big deal Let's give that a try What's next? When I came down, I came through the wash and down through here. So I missed what was over here. Oh, well that's not anything. The most sketchy part about this is going over there and going up and around that thing. So, 
Anywho, probably ought to call it for the day. Get back home. It's my daughter's birthday today. I'm sure we got some stuff planned. Happy birthday. That was fun. Good times. I feel like there's a lot of people out here that are quarantining themselves from the population. There's more people out here than I've ever seen just like camping constantly. never this many people here on a Thursday, we'll say. Uh, Dalmatian doggy. Most of these guys are just out here riding, maybe camping for a week or so. Some of these people look like they're out here for the long term. I'll show you what I mean right here. They got big, big totes of water. I think these people are living out here now. Hopefully the BLM will come clean them up after. I think they can camp for two weeks. Then they gotta move. A bunch of people over there. They look okay. Interesting stuff.
wanted to show you guys a couple of projects I've been working on. Last thing I've done here is uh, installed some harnesses. These are from GeForce Off-Road. Put them up on my Instagram, our Instagram, the other day. Uh, got those installed. Pretty freaking sweet. Really happy with the quality of them. Went with the auto style buckle. I don't want to be dealing with latches and kids and that kind of stuff. But yeah, really happy with these. They're very comfortable. These are a two inch padded. I almost feel like they got a little memory foam in them, but I don't know if it is or not. I don't recall that being a selling point. Um, another thing we did when installing that, try and pull these off here. Oh, this is hard one-handed. See, I tried to show this on another video, but I went with the Dragonfire quick release clip thing so we could get the seats out easy. Anyways, I'm not gonna try and do everything one-handed. It's kind of a pain. Anyways, they're quick release deal from Dragonfire. Bought them on Amazon. I'll get a link for them. If you guys ever install any harnesses in yours, you can do that. project I got partially done. This is a work in progress. we got the electronics holder installed. We've got the COM intercom system installed in there. Uh, USB port there. Um, eventually, in the next little while, these two things will disappear. And there will be a two-way radio up above there. I'll probably have to move the 12 volt to the outside somewhere. Yet to be determined. We got that. Got headphones. That's only one of them. And so far, so good with that. Pretty pleased with that so far. And that's really all I've done. We'll have more. We're going to have more video on this later once we get all the components together and we get some videos done. Garrett and Joe are both going the same way. Uh, we all bought those recently. Uh, other than that, oh, well, here's another deal. I'm gonna be testing. Bought me a, some foam filter from Unifilter on a Amazon. Put it in here. I haven't oiled it, I haven't been on a ride yet. So I just got that test fit. I'll do a little video on that as well. Some testing, that kind of stuff. Uh, other than that, the biggest, next, most bestest project I got coming is this, <laughs> this trailer here. Uh, I bought that the other day, dirt cheap. Going to convert it to a flatbed trailer. This was a travel trailer at one time. The guy I bought it from salvaged everything off of that. Just selling the frame, tires, but needs some work. I got to add about three feet to it in the back, more than likely. We haven't made total plans for it. I've got to, you know, strip all the rust off of it. You got to put a deck on it. it needs sides on it. it. Needs wheel wells. Needs a jack, needs all the wiring done, tail lights, everything. Basically, it needs everything. So I'll do a little, some video updates on this thing. Not sure when I'm gonna get started on it. Not in a real big hurry for it. Still got this. The reason I'm doing this one is because I wanna be able to take both of my machines out. And can't fit them both on a 14 foot trailer. I need at least 23 feet and this will get the job done. I'm thinking I'll probably do an expanded steel deck on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much that weighs. I want to cut the weight down as much as possible. So maybe that would be better than like a pressure treated deck or a 2 by 10 deck or something like that. The lighter the better as far as I'm concerned. So yeah. Put some side rails, wheel wells, some kind of a deck on it. 
tongue jack. Cut that garbage off, that off. Bunch of little tabs for hanging propane lines and all that on there. Needs a light kit. Brakes all need to gone, be gone through, all that. That'll be the next biggest project. So anyways, that machine just barely passed 500 miles. I'm gonna go ahead and do a service on that here in the next little bit. Probably not today, maybe this weekend, I don't know. Got a ride coming up this weekend. I'd, maybe I'll get done for the ride. No, I'm not too concerned about it since Can-Am says, you know, a thousand miles for severe duty, 2000 miles for uh, normal duty. That's what that one says. Not 100% sure on that. Maybe I'll just do that here in the next day or so before I go on a ride, get it done. Then I can feel better about myself. That's nothing to do about feeling better about myself. That's dumb. Anyways, world's crazy, world's on fire. Right now, COVID-19 crisis. I don't even know what to think anymore. I, I don't know who to believe about anything. It's just craziness here in Southern Utah. We're not on a lockdown or anything like that. Like uh, California places, New York, those types of deals. So anyways, it's just crazy. I mean, I don't even know what to think about what's going on. Go to the store, everybody's wearing these masks. I feel like I'm in a different world, bizarro world. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're a champion. We appreciate the support. Uh, hit that like button. That lets YouTube know that they should suggest it to other people watching YouTube. Really helps the channel out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing that. That's another way to help us out. Uh, anyways, we'd like to thank Dune YXZ for his support on our Patreon page. He's a rock star. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, and you like YXZs, uh, go check him out. He's got a lot of cool content covering his YXZ. He's got some four-wheeler stuff on there too also. So anyways, guys, have a good day. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later.